began with two boys that were a little bit older and already into sports and hunting and we would go to the duck club in duck season every weekend they'd come back and you know toward the end of the duck season i could tell that linda and claire had this really special bond so i was trying to figure out how i could spend quality time with a three four year old girl i started going to bed with claire to say prayers with her so and it started off always the same saying our father three hill marys and then claire would pray for everybody and everything we had this ritual at the end of the prayers before i would tell stories that i told her that she was my little princess she was my favorite little girl in the whole wide world she was my best friend something that we've kept a secret for 25 years is we're secret pals. Girls are just different. Claire's always been such a beautiful person inside and out. She's lights up a room. She's the life of the party. We're, Lynn and I are so proud of you and what you've done. We're so proud of how hard you've worked. You and Andrew are right. You know, my wish for you is that you let the Holy Spirit work in your marriage. I hope that God blesses you with children. Andrew, I hope that you have a little girl just like Claire. When coming to a wedding, everyone in here has one thing in common. We're all excited. We're all looking for that sensory overload that the wedding couple brings to us. And tonight, we're rewarded by this beautiful bride, Claire, in her gorgeous wedding gown, and by this handsome groom in his tux. They look like movie stars, and tonight, you are the stars of this event, the sacrament of marriage. See
Claire and Andrew, in choosing to have the ceremony in a church, you as a couple acknowledge God's presence and His grace. He bestows His grace on you, making this a sacramental marriage. In effect, it becomes a lifelong commitment and a marriage of three, the two of you and your Father in heaven. I Andrew, take you, Claire, to be my wife. I promise to be true to you in good times and in bad. I promise to be good to you in true times and bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. I will love you and honor you all the days of my life. I will love you and honor you all the days of my life. Claire, will you repeat after me? I, Claire, take you, Andrew, to be my husband. I promise to be true to you in good times and in bad. I promise to be true to you in good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. I will love you and honor you all the days of my life. I will love you and honor you all the days of my life. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure at this time to introduce to you our newly married couple in Christ and in our community. Mr. and Mrs. Andrew Coates.